We are in the city and we are going to Mysterious Time Machine on Washington Place. It just moved. So we're going to check out the new location. It's only been there a couple of months. So it's downstairs, uh, if you know the old location, and it's on 6th Avenue in Washington Place. So let's go check out what they got in there. They just moved. Uh, he said, excuse the mess, the owner, but he wants everybody to know that he moved in his, his new location. So let's go check it out. So it is a more condensed, smaller shop, or we can say it has an intimate feel to it with plenty of back issues. And there are a bunch of new uh, books here. Here's Newberry, a newer section on the left here. Like and subscribe if you like the content here. Ring that little bell. It'll tell you when I have new videos posted. Are you serious? And I am in the newer section here on the left seeing what they got. Stay till the end and I'll show you what books I grabbed. I love that DC vs. Vampires. That miniseries? I thought it was kind of cool. Bruh. Uh, and here is We Are Demons, the Scott Snyder book. First came out on Comixology, and now it is printed. Uh, Nightwing showing off his body. What is going on here? Male porn? Is that what's happening here? So uncivilized. All right, and then we have some back issues I will go through. I know you guys, like, when I go through the back issues, there's so much uh, boxes in here. Oh, Edge of Spider-Verse, this new miniseries? I was definitely picking these up. And here is a number one. This book is like a month old. But there's a number one still sitting here. Maybe I should grab another copy of that. That was legitness. I think number two had the big character in it, though, right? Wasn't there a new character in number two? And these new Batmans are popping, too, right? The Chip Zadaski run? I'm Batman. Firepower already on the wall. The respect for Robert Kirkman in this store. Putting them on the wall already. And they have some hardcovers here. They have some trade paperbacks. They have some omnibus right here. There's some cool books. Got Marvels there, right? Is that Alex Ross? Wow. And I found an Ablaze book here. Animal Castle, number one. Looks like a second printing. Pretty cool, right? Let us know if this is that Marvels, that Alex Ross. Let's check that out. Let us know if this is your LCS in the comments below, if I'm missing anything, or if there's anything we should uh, be focusing on here. He's got a new box here of new books. Let me see if there's anything in here that I missed. Do it! Do it! Flashpoint Beyond. I have that book already. Some Captain America. All right, let's check out the older books he's got here. He's got a bunch of uh, long boxes and a bunch of wall books. Some older Flash, Detective Comics. Here's that Captain America, right? Who's going to fill the Captain America suit? Who's going to be the new Captain America? Marvel Fanfare. Those colors were popping on that book. Did you see how mint that book look? Let's stroll the store. Let's take a walk around. Let me grab one of these long boxes, right? And maybe I'll uh, dig through them a little bit. And we'll see what they have in some of these boxes here. Some of the wall boxes are, are uh, the wall books are pretty cool, right? What has he got in these little coverings, these little caverns here? He's got some Tarzan books. So uncivilized. All right, he's got a lot of gold key all over the store. Are you serious? Oh, look at that danger book. It's awesome, right? The Nam. Classic trade paper back there. And, uh, Kam uh, Kamiko, right? This is the, uh, that indie. Matt Wagner had that book on here, right? Grendel? Wasn't Grendel on that? All right, Image has Jack Staff. Shut up! Daddy, chill. Bunch of indies in this section here. Here we go, the spirit. 
goodness. A little Will Eisner, right? What are these, uh, reprints, or are these the, uh... That cover art's amazing, right? It's pretty cool. Knock, knock! All right, so there's a lot to look at in the store. He's got a lot of older books, and, uh, he has a little newer section. He's got a nice mix of stuff in here. Wow! Little Sandman action here. Shut up! Daddy, chill. Just randomly digging through, through some boxes here, see what they got in here. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Suicide Squad. Oh, is this the Tom Taylor one? Number two. And these are just raw books, but most of the books are bagged and boarded in here. And he said, don't be scared by the prices on the books. He is open to negotiation, he said. <laughs> I'm in danger! If you buy a couple of books, he can shave off some of the pricing there. I'm Batman. And on the bottom, there's more long boxes. So there's more long boxes on the bottom. Here's some uh, Stillwater. Remember this indie? Stillwater? This was uh, Chip Sodowski too, wasn't it? It's more Suicide Squad, Superman. I found Sleeping Beauties here, too. Another indie. Found all these indies here. That's in a Blaze book, isn't it? Nope. And the store is getting a little crowded here. FBI, open up! All right, stay till the end, and I'll show you what books I got. Stay till the end, and I'll show you all my grabs, okay? I will see you in a second. Two books at a time. We do two books at a time here. I'm coming at you fast and furious with the content. And on the left, we had, they had the closet number one, that James Tinnan miniseries. Uh, this is a couple months old, but they had a number one here. I thought I'd grab another one. And Forever Forward is getting great reviews on the right, that indie book. They're saying it's a great high concept about time traveling forward. Um, so I thought I'd grab that. I've been hearing a lot about it. That's a pretty new book. On the left, we got Animal Castle number one on a blaze, and that is the second printing. Daddy, chill. Uh, but that is a, looks like a mint uh, copy there, and the cover looks like the same. I have the first print. I think it looks like the same exact cover. And on the right, we got Sleeping Beauties, another, uh, uh, that's an IDW book. Sleeping Beauties number one there. And then we got this uh, Chip Sardowski Batman run is super hot right now. I'm Batman. I grabbed the latest issue, number 127 on the right. And then I grabbed the number one, uh, 125, another one. I have this already, but that's the first failsafe, right? I grabbed another copy of that. These were both look like they were in good shape. And on the right is the backstory, right, of uh, failsafe? Is that the origin story of failsafe, I think? And this is getting great reviews, too, an action-packed issue. I'm Batman. Might be the comic to have right now, that Batman comic. And then everyone says this first appearance of Batman, Tech 27, is very hard to find. I found a mint copy here for, like, five bucks. Look at this. A mint copy for, like, and he had, like, ten of them. So I don't know what everybody's complaining about. Tech 27 is very easy to find. And on the left, we got Edge of Spider-Verse, number one, the new miniseries that's out. And I thought I'd grab another number one here. They had a, this is like a month or two old, but I grabbed another issue of this. This Power Rangers Unlimited is getting great reviews, and there's supposed to be a new character in here, right? Um, the Death Ranger? Is that the character there? And on the right, that new Thunderbolts book. Uh, I was talking to the owner of uh, Mysterious Time Machine. He said this book is selling very well. I had asked him, I said, hey, is this book moving? He said, yeah, it's selling uh, really well. It's very popular. And I don't have this book, so I thought I'd grab it. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring the bell, let you know about new videos. And let's count how many books I got. I got six, eight, ten. All right, check out my other videos. I will see you guys next time.